The first uh, part in this course is on uh, tolerances and fits. Today we will define what a tolerance is and how a fit can be defined. Uh, and these concepts will be described and we will see how different types of fits can be defined. Let me share the related presentation. This is now for chapter one. And it's on tolerances and fits. Of course, uh, we have to first define what tolerances and fits are. The objective in certain engineering studies is to design components used in different types of machines or structures. A speed reducer is shown in this figure. It comprises a certain number of elements, shafts, bearings, sliding bearings, couplings. Uh, an engineer, your task is to carry out the design, which means, means specific, specification of dimensions, what should be the dimension of the shaft, for example, materials and other connections, joints and other related features of this design. Uh, one important part of the design procedure is the specification of final dimensions. There are certain forces and loads acting on a system like this. Therefore, the structure needs to be strong enough to perform under these applied loads. And this necessitates the use of certain dimensions. Of course, if the shaft diameter is not large enough, you may observe failures. It could be a static failure or fatigue failure. We'll talk about fatigue later. You might encounter excessive deformations or deflections. But if design is developed properly, such problems will not be observed and they, this will work under applied loading or service conditions. The dimensions need to be defined, but there are certain tolerances on the dimensions. And we will see how these tolerances can be defined or how they are introduced. And these are Again, summarize these concepts are summarized here. There is a certain nominal diameter for the shaft. The nominal diameter could be, for example, 30 millimeters. This is design diameter, but in manufacturing, there's going to be a certain variation on this nominal diameter. And this variation, acceptable variation, is the tolerance on the uh, diameter of the shaft. Therefore, you not only specify the nominal diameter uh, of a machine component, you need to pass on the information related to the tolerance on that particular machine. And tolerance is therefore a purposeful deviation from a specified basic size. And it's the different difference between 
the maximum and minimum acceptable dimensions of uh, machine learning. And second here definition is fit. Fit is defined for mating parts. Tolerance is defined for a single part, a shaft. But a shaft is or works in a hole or in a bearing most of the time. And when you made a specification as a fit, that includes both the dimension of the shaft and dimension of the hole. And there are different types of fits. Uh, we will see how these different types of fits can be introduced. Uh, there are actually three different types of fits. And we will introduce them today. The tolerance depends on the manufacturing technique used to produce a part. Uh, is if you change the manufacturing technique by changing your manufacturing method, it could be you could be able to end up with parts with tighter tolerances. Certain manufacturing methods lead to coarser tolerances on a part. And these include forging, for example, milling, or it could be turning. In this direction, the tolerance becomes tighter and tighter. If you use lapping, for example, there's, the tolerance is much smaller, but as the tolerance becomes tighter, there is an exponential increase in the cost of manufacture. Larger <coughs> tolerance is uh, uh, as the tolerance become becomes tighter, there is a significant increase in cost of manufacturing. So the, the this cost is much larger for this kind of slapping, homing, grinding. But initial operation leads to a larger tolerance on the part. And the tolerance that is defined depends on the <laughs> manufacturing method. We can introduce certain definitions uh, related to dimensioning, tolerances, and fits. The first one is the nominal size of an element. That is the theoretical size you get from strength analysis from the application of a failure criteria. The average diameter or the Theoretical diameter is 40 millimeters. The tolerances are not yet applied on this general diameter. But there are limits on the uh, on this general dimension of the theoretical size. You can define a maximum diameter which is slightly larger than these nominal diameter and a minimum diameter which is slightly smaller and the difference max minus min is called tolerance that's the tolerance on the part uh, that could be bilateral tolerance or unilateral tolerance and there are different types of fits in an interference fit, for example, you might have 
or in a transition fit, you might have a unilateral torus, minimum dimension of uh, shafts is find exactly as 25 millimeters. Maximum dimension, as you see, is slightly larger, 25.05 millimeters. Plus torus here is 0.05 millimeters. Uh, again, in transition fits, that could be bilateral tolerances. The shaft diameter could be slightly smaller than the whole diameter. In that case, we have a clearance fit. And it could be as the maximum possible dimension is larger than the whole diameter. As it will work, for example, as a uh, transition fit, as we will see today, the total tolerance now is larger, which is 0.1 millimeters. That's called by let, lateral tolerance. But in any case, the difference between maximum and minimum limits is the tolerance. And <clears throat> As I mentioned, there are three different types of fits. In a fit, you think about a hole in a, a, a shaft in a hole. And if the diameter, maximum diameter of the shaft is less than the minimum diameter of the hole, we have it clears. If the diameter of the shaft, maximum diameter of the shaft is larger than the minimum diameter of the hole, then there is interference. It's also, those fits are also referred to as shilling fits or press fits. And is there a question? Uh, some yes, yes, Hujam. Sorry? <clears throat> yes, Hujam, there's a question hujam uh, previous semester we tried to uh, work on this stuff and there were two things cylindrical part and the external part we did external part is uh, bigger than the internal part. but then we went to the uh, atelier in the mechanical engineering department and they did this the external part is smaller than the inner part uh, and it, it, the, the thing is that i want to ask is that the, the external part should be the bigger or the smaller than the internal part. It depends on the application. Uh, if there is uh, if relative motion between the parts is a lot or necessary in an application, then there should be a clearance. But if relative motion is not necessary or it is not designed, then it should be no interference with. So that depends on the particular type of application. Both cases are possible, but it will depend on the application. Okay, so I think so. And there are some other uh, definitions as well. We will introduce allowance of a fit. Allowance is either minimum clearance or maximum interference for mating parts, the shaft and the hole. And we will see how this can be computed and we have already defined what a fit is. A fit is a system comprising a shaft and a hole and relative dimensions of these components need to be specified in the definition of a fit. And we will give examples on these. How uh, tolerance can be actually defined. This is a shaft. And there is a nominal diameter or theoretical uh, diameter. 
this is D. And suppose that you have a clearance fit and the shaft works in a hole. Now the designer specifies maximum possible diameter of the shaft and minimum diameter. And they are both here in this figure less than the nominal diameter. But there is a maximum diameter and a minimum diameter. The difference the max minus the min is delta D and it's torus on this part. If this torus is too small, then it's going to be a unnecessarily larger, you will deal with an unnecessarily higher manufacturing cost. But if it's too large, the part may not function as expected there could be problems in the assembly uh, operation of this shop. But tolerance is simply this difference between maximum and minimum dimensions. There are additional <coughs> definitions here. You can find this figure in the book. And now this is a fit, a fit comprises hole and a shaft. And this line is the nominal diameter. And this is the shaft. There's the nominal diameter, our basic size. And that is the maximum size for the shaft, it's the max. Minimum size is the minimum. And there are two deviations here. Two deviations are introduced. Upper deviation is the difference between the basic size and the max. Lower de deviation is the difference between basic size and the mean. So this edge is further away from basic size line. Difference between the max and the mid is tolerance. This, there are standardized ways of defining uh, these quantities. Uh, as we will see today, international tolerance rate or IT number, international tolerance number, can be used to define a tolerance and a shaft. And the smaller of the upper and lower deviation is named as fundamental deviation. It's denoted by delta F. And fundamental deviation is an important quantity because a fit can be completely communicated if you provide information on fundamental deviation and tolerance. Shaft diameter, I mean this general notation, is shown by lowercase letter, lowercase d. In the whole, we are using uppercase d to designate the diameter. And that is the Basic size for the hole. Uh, this basic size is common to a shaft and the hole, and it's capital D. Uh, maximum hole diameter is D max. Minimum hole diameter is D, D min. Difference is tolerance on the hole. Lower deviation is based on the edge closer to the basic line. Upper deviation is based on the line further away from the basic size line. And smaller of these two is the fundamental fundamental deviation for the hole. 
And you might have different tolerances on these parts and different fundamental deviations. Or in a fit designation, we should convey the information pertaining to fundamental deviations of the shaft and the hole, as well as tolerances on the shaft and the hole. There's a question, I guess. Yes, Hocam. For the shaft, the basic size is uh, bigger than the maximum size and minimum size. And for the hole, the uh, basic size is smaller than the minimum size and the maximum size. Can it be uh, somewhere between that? Uh, uh, <clears throat> yes, it's possible to define it uh, somewhere between them. That's right, because that's the general uh, representation. This minimum size can be larger than the basic size or smaller than the basic size as possible. But we have a standard way of specifying a fit. So we either assume that shaft diameter or the one, uh, either the minimum size is on the basic size line for the hole or the in the basic hole system for example maximum size is on the basic size line therefore there are it's possible to have larger or smaller diameters but we have a standard way and one of them is defined is always defined to be on the basic size line we will talk about it today but in general you may have such a configuration this could be larger or smaller or this could be larger or smaller any definition is possible it depends on the application and manufacturing method but main notation is introduced in this figure, which is figure 7.20 in your book. And it is to do. So these are repeated in this slide. I've already talked about the upper deviation here. This is the upper deviation for the hole based on the size, side closer to the main size line, lower deviation. And fundamental deviation is the uh, main specification introduced in fin designations. <clears throat> Tolerance specifications depend on the applications. If you have applications where precision and accuracy is crucial, and you need tighter tolerances, such as no specified for reference gauges, certain types of gauges which are used in measurements. Of course, you need accuracy and tighter tolerances in these applications. And these methods, finishing methods, lapping, grinding, honing, they all lead to relatively smaller tolerances, but if you use the parts without finishing processes, you have larger tolerances. Those obtained from casting, certain rolling, milling, forging processes without finishing labor lead to larger tolerances, but additional steps processes or finishing techniques could be necessary to improve the level of tolerance. The cost is now increasing in upper direction. How do we define fits in a standard way? And that is the question. There are, we will consider two different ways for fit specification. And the first one is called basic hole system and the hole diameter is now our reference. Minimum 
whole diameter is taken as the basis. It falls on the basic size line. And for lower deviation is zero. And maximum diameter then depends on tolerance defined on the hole. A second fit specification is called basic shaft system. And as I mentioned in the previous slide, maximum shaft diameter is the basis. Upper deviation is zero. And what is the minimum shaft diameter? That's the question. It depends on the tolerance. And these are two different main and simple ways of specifying fits and the figure clarifies in this concept. There are two ways of specifying fits. The first one is basic hole system. In the basic hole system, minimum <clears throat> hole diameter is on the basic size line. And then I can find this maximum diameter by using this tolerance. And the red shaded zone is the tolerance zone for the hole. And shaft diameter, maximum diameter could be smaller or larger than the basic size. If it's smaller, this uh, clearance fits, for example. And if the minimum diameter is also larger than the basic size, that's it. That's an interference. It's basic cost system. And it's the tolerance. And this designation or representation is used for basic cost system most of the time. So it lies on the basic size line. And this is the minimum whole diameter as mentioned here, it lies on the basic size line. Shaded zones are tolerance zones. Length of this rectangle is the tolerance, total tolerance. And the second fit specification is done according to basic shaft system. And here, maximum shaft diameter is or lies on the basic size line and minimum diameter and depends on the tolerance. These diameters can be larger than the basic size line or smaller than basic size line. And then depending on net definition, you will end up with uh, an interference with or a clearance. Bit. But these are the main ways of producing fits, you will be asked to make specifications in your uh, homework assignments in your project. And this specifications could be based on basic call system uh, or basic shaft system. We will talk about these details, but the, that's the main point or this is the main definition for fit specification is done in either of these two ways. You should know what basic hole system is and what basic shaft system is to be able to do or to be able to carry out such design work. Any questions on this? We have introduced these main definitions, tolerance, fits. Uh, what are the ways of specifying a fit? These are specifications done according to basic whole system and basic shaft system. And we will, in the second hour, we will talk about uh, examples 
for example, uh, specifications. That's, that's as the end of the lecture and this first half. Do you have a question? Yes, uh, you can summarize that in the basic whole systems, the diameter, the basic, basic diameter is actually equal to the minimum uh, diameter of the shaft, the hole. But in the basic shaft system, the diameter, basic diameter is equal to maximum shaft diameter, mm -hmm. right? Yes, right. that's right. That's correct. Minimum diameter of the hole in the basic hole system. And maximum diameter of the shaft in the basic shaft system. That's correct. Another question? Hojam, uh, the last figures that we have seen uh, are for the clearance, but for the case of uh, interference, the definitions of the basic hole system or basic shaft system will be uh, reversed or not changed? No, they are not changed. They are uh, the same. I mean, you may have basic hole system and minimum Hole diameter is always on the basic size line, but position of the shaft could be different. If minimum shaft diameter is larger than the basic size, you will have an interference bit. Or if maximum shaft diameter is smaller than basic size, that is going to be a clear split, but Minimum shaft diameter is always on the basic size line. Now that's simple, simple definition in it because you know that minimum diameter in the basic hole system is always on the uh, basic size line. Hojan, uh, for a basic shaft system and with an interference, the fun can we say the fundamental deviation is uh, the upper deviation for the hole? Mm -hmm. As for the basic shaft system, the hole, uh, if you, the maximum shaft diameter is on the line, so you have a negative fundamental deviation for the hole. Okay, thank you. We will show it, which has to be negative in the basic shaft system. So it depends on the maximum hole diameter. If it's a cell interference bit, the maximum hole diameter, it has to be smaller than the maximum shaft diameter. And it will be an interference bit. Of minimum shaft diameter, smaller than the minimum shaft diameter. Other questions on this? I am, I will not uh, share uh, these slides, but I'm going to uh, make the presentations available on YouTube. I mean, some of them. Uh, there are already uh, certain lecture notes and video files at the web page of the course. I will make these available. Uh, the Some of the video files will be available uh, on my YouTube channel. And for some of them, I may provide you the links, direct links for video files, but not the lecture notes. If you don't have any other questions, we can stop here and we will have a break and we will continue after that.